Oh, What's poppin'? We got the meteor friends joining yeah. us today for Celebrity Dish. How goes it? Okay, is it giving Halloween? Mm -hmm. Is it the orange and the black? I just thought festive fall orange just speaks ringing in the new season. It does. Yes, it so does. why not? Yeah. Oh, my bright orange. Well, you, you're doing a great job with it. And, Always. And, and I'm telling you, you come in every day, and we just wonder, man, is, is it fashion week? What's going on? <laughs> but it's just every day for you. How many just, outfits? How many times have you worn this outfit? This is the first uh, time. Right, because you guys, they talked about me on a segment. I know they on did. A, uh, uh -huh. About my three to six month rule. So, um, <laughs> if you are a avid watcher of Good Day DC, then you know that it had, I actually extended my rule. And this is, I haven't worn this in 12 months. Get out of here. Oh, so, oh wow. So, okay, we haven't done really Oprah, then. You know, she doesn't repeat outfits. So, <laughs> and I guess it makes sense with this new podcast launching. Woo! Congratulations. Oh, wow. Thank you so, so much. Yeah. Uh, Conversations with the Media Prince is now on Apple Podcasts. So, now, you can listen to my interviews in audio format. I know we're in a new era where a lot of people are moving and shaking, so you don't get to see. You more so want to hear. So I get to take my visual interviews and turn them into audio formats, and so far they're... That's what's up. Keep it up. There. You got to meet people where they are. I mean, yes. We do this each and every day, too. You got to be on uh, all formats and fire yes. on all yeah. cylinders. Yes. So congratulations. Just so proud Thank of you. you. All wow. right. I'm still waiting on you to turn, change Prince to King, but I Come guess on. that's I coming mean, 12 months got, from now. We, we just might be on to that. I think we, we need to bring Miss... <laughs> Marissa in the Aww. in the in the chamber so that we can uh, well, get once her you her inter chat Once you interview too. Marissa, you become king. Oh, Ooh. she's a, yeah. she's a king he's maker. On good behavior today, you know. Stevie, I see. You know, well, you know, he was no. acting up off camera, he but was. he's he's really okay, good we'll in front of you. We'll talk about that in commercial break. Thanks, Steve. I'm a good guy. <laughs> First off, let's get into dish right now because people who've been waiting for Wendy Williams to weigh in on the whole Diddy situation, mm -hmm. the drama. Wait no more. The former talk show queen is offering up her opinion. Producer Chris, uh, I almost hollered when I saw that on my phone yesterday that yes. she had spoken out. Exactly. And a lot of people had been waiting to see what she had to say. Now, if you know, you know, the two have a very storied history. If you don't, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. However, since that Diddy news broke, a lot of people wanted to hear what Wendy might have to say about the situation because she had has been on the forefront of some accusations about Diddy for years. And the Daily Mail reached out to the former daytime diva to find out what she had to say. So commenting on the Cassie Assault video, Wendy said, quote, you know how I feel about that. It is about time. To see this video on TV of Cassie getting pummeled, it was just horrific. But now you have to think, how many more times? How many people? How many more women? It's just so horrible. So we mentioned sort of the history between the two of them. Back in the 90s, Wendy was the rap industry's gossip queen. She was on New York's radio station Hot 97. She made some accusations about Diddy. She talked about his reputation. She talked about that parties, those parties. Diddy was having none of it. He reportedly got her fired from the radio station, flexing some of his muscle behind the scenes to make sure her career was, quote, unquote, cut short. Obviously, she just went on to bigger and better things as a result, though, Marissa. All right, Chris, mm. thanks. Uh, Media Prince, what do you think of Wendy now sounding uh, off? And they I do have just, a storied history. I could just hear the cheers. Wendy, Wendy, yeah. coming out on the stage. <laughs> it's moments like this where you, you, you want to hear her because this must be the time to tune in to hear what her take is. And, yes, uh, her history with him, she's been told us. She even said... Um, inquired with that story that they pulled up, he had some of the artists pull up on her and try to, like, attack her coming out of the radio station. I think Wendy Williams' viewpoint is so monumental because, first, we love her because she's the messy queen. We, we love that part of her. And we also know that there's some validity there because she actually knows him and she really knew what she was talking about. Nine times out of ten, Wendy has the receipts when she talks about what she's talking about. So to hear her actually speak, uh, I kind of... It soothes us. Yeah. It lets us know that the queen of media is still in the game. Well, I did a deep dive on this in terms of looking at reaction from, right. from the public uh, mm -hmm. to this news. And I would say about 70% feel the way that you do. Mm -hmm. But there's that 30% that go, wait a minute, do we want to add validity to what Wendy is saying, being that she's been going through a lot of mental health challenges, mm -hmm. physical health challenges in, in recent years, should we take what she has to say with a grain of salt? Well, I, I don't think that she's saying anything that we aren't already asking, which is how many other women could have possibly dealt with this, or men. Mm -hmm. And so I think what Wendy is doing here in this moment is just saying, listen, I've experienced it. 
I have been a part of this. I know this man to be true for all the things that we've said him to be true. And I also think that she she's, she's a New Yorker, right? So right. she has spent many years following, listening to insular conversations about Diddy. Right. And we're finally getting her to say something. And of course, we often mention how deafening Hollywood has been, just mm -hmm. not right. speaking about right. this. And for her to actually step up and say this is exactly what mm -hmm. we need Hollywood to do. Exactly. Yeah. And for that 30%, I'm gonna just tell you, I have a few family members that have mental problems and they know who they don't like. Mm. And <laughs> it doesn't matter if they don't remember if it's Monday or Tuesday. If they you mention that, that person's name, they, that's true. they, they get past right the amnesia. That is true. <laughs> yeah, which can make the claims even more damaging right. if mm -hmm. you think about it. All right, Chris. To your point as well, I think it's slightly validation for Wendy, who, like you said, has been kind of making these accusations for years and now people are finally listening and looking more into it. All right, guys, let's talk about the Fugees now because there's a lot of drama happening behind the scenes. Rapper Praz is actually getting sued. Excuse me. He is filing a lawsuit against his former bandmate, Lauren Hill. And this all has to do with an alleged fraud over the group short in 2023 reunion tour. We know how that went. In a lawsuit filed in a federal court, Praz accuses Lauren Hill of mismanaging the setup, marketing, and budgeting of the 2023 anniversary of the miseducation of Lauren Hill. The lawsuit also alleges that Hill exploited Praz's vulnerable legal situation, manipulating him into what he calls an unfair agreement. Now, if you don't know, Praz is currently facing up to 20 years in prison in connection to a multi-million dollar political conspiracy. So he says that she kind of took advantage of him because he needed money and work. So Hill has mm -hmm. called the lawsuit baseless, baseless with false claims and unwarranted attacks, guys. So mm -hmm. no love of loss between these two in the meantime. So does that mean we still don't get the reunion tour? You will not you don't get it, you not get it anytime. probably and anytime soon. We won't get like. it anytime soon. And according to her post that she posted this morning with seven facts that she said that we should pay attention to with what this case is, in all its entirety, she says it's, it's crap. She says that uh, he was advanced $3 million ahead of the tour because of his legal situations. And she said that they, he wasn't paying it back. And so she had to foot a lot of the bills. So she's saying that from what we're taking, she's going to counter suit and possibly win. Maybe he thought mm -hmm. he was going to make it up on the back end with the yeah, tour that, that sure didn't did. happen. So yeah. I, I'm sure a lot of that can go She said they came ways. to see me anyway. But <laughs> she just needed to show up. She, she needed to show up. <laughs> uh, in an exclusive digital cover uh, reveal, Candace Diller Bassard is showing off her baby bump. Check this out. The first time mom-to-be graced the cover of Lennox and Parker in her typical high fashion style. Doesn't she look gorgeous? She looks She's amazing. donning several looks, including a simple black floor-length dress, a white and black striped sheer dress, Dress with white boots. The former housewife poses with husband Chris Bassett as he holds her bump and looks adoringly at her in a white cloak and nothing else on. Now then a final look of her sitting with a crop turtleneck and a white skirt, not, no, but nothing complimenting this outfit more than her mommy glow. And she's Aww. just been all over the place. I believe People Magazine showed pictures from her baby shower too. So uh, that's one of the pictures I took at the, the baby shower yes. at La Vie. I had it a wonderful time. And they are just so happy, the happiest I've ever seen them. It looks, it just, just looks so good to just see her in her happy glow right now. Ironically, she's going to be up on the podcast soon next week. Oh, so cool. It's just so dope to see her in her happiness and her, 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 her good stage. It's good energy, and it beams off her. So I'm so excited. Congratulations, guys. Congrats. She deserves it all. And congrats to you, too, on the podcast. Thank you so much. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. 40 Under 40. Hey. Oh, <laughs> we got to get into that, too, in a bit. Always Annie good. Annie Mae, over to you.